Yeah. Hello everybody, this is Pierre Gerudi and tonight I'm going to answer another question which I received through the social media and the question is how China directing the way luxury fashion operate. China is the second biggest economy after US in the world and since China operate under single rule of Communist Party and the lack of of any other party or opposition, luxury fashion companies are very careful to adhere whatever Chinese uh, government asks them to do, not just in China, anywhere in the world. As we already know, China has the largest luxury buyers in the world of about 33%, which is about one third of all luxury sales are been bought by Chinese consumers. And that's about $120 billion per year. And in economic parlance or jargon, it's a major shift in the global luxury market. So in fashion luxury market, companies like LVMH, Caring, and Richmond paying extra attention to follow exact guidance of Chinese companies rules and regulation regardless if it's right or wrong. We don't have enough information on how or on which type of methods Chinese using in order to influence uh, luxury fashion uh, brands to adhere to the rules and regulation. And that's not just something is written. Uh, it is constantly changing. And there is always a chance for any faux pas or any mistakes that the luxury fashion brands make in China or outside of China and they pay heavy price for their mistakes. And brands naturally officially apologize for their mistakes and ask for forgiveness because they didn't pay enough attention to sensitivity of Chinese culture. For the first time Louis Vuitton use a cast of all Asian male models for the men's fashion show in Shanghai and setting a new standard for other brands to follow. So the western beauty of male models with chiseled jaws, bambi eyes, rippling abs and bulging bicep is about to change direction. In the past, male models in the men's show were mixed up western white models with few mixed races or not too Asian in terms of appearance was norm in China. No one knows how the decision has been made. Considering Chinese government have so many ways to put pressure on luxury fashion brands of what China thinks is right or wrong approach. If you want to do any business with China, you have to do it their way or highway. Doesn't matter where that business is. If you have a shop in China or you have a company in China and you're making mistakes about the Chinese culture or anything about Chinese politics, let's say in Norway, you're going to pay the price in China and your business will be naturally impacted. Now, quote of the day. Any artist who aligns themselves with a politician is making a category error because what politicians do is not on a human scale. It is on a geopolitical scale. I hope you like the video and I hope I could answer the question as briefly as I could and I hope I could add some value. So if you like it, please smash the like button, subscribe it, share it 
and leave your comments. On the comments, your suggestions, your remarks, your questions, or your critics. I will try to answer all of them. So, good night. See you tomorrow night with another question and another answer. Bye.